Uh, hi all, uh, welcome. Today we are going to meet Thiru. So he was part of our Zen batch and uh, right now he is a budding data scientist. He just uh, uh, joined as a data scientist a couple of months ago. So today we will be interacting with him more and we will try to understand how uh, Gooby or Zen helped him in his career transition from a non-tech background to data analyst uh, to data science. Hi Thiru, welcome. Hi sir. Hi yeah. sir. Uh, Thiru, uh, just a brief about you. Uh, I want to know a little bit more uh, from what you did, where you are. Yeah, yeah. See, actually my name is Thiru Murugan. Now, now currently I'm working in uh, Tech Mahendra as a data scientist lead. Um, I'm from Tanjavur. Uh, mm -hmm. So now I'm into this. Okay. So uh, before joining Gubi, do you have any experience in data science or this area, anything? It's a kind of a, a 2014 and all, you don't have any data scientist that kind of thing. 2014 to 18, I was working as a data analyst. Okay. At that time, that machine learning was like popping up here and there. Mm -hmm. Then, then, then I I started moving into some some IAM uh, for data scientist, mm -hmm. but I couldn't yield that much of result. Then, then I joined here, Kuri. So from there, that was a data analyst was previous experience. Now, data scientist. Okay, yeah. so I'm curious to know what is the difference between data analyst and data scientist? Data analyst is all descriptive. Whatever okay. happened in the past, the, we got as a data. Mm -hmm. We analyze only that. Mm -hmm. When it has come to the data science, it is a predictive. You know, mm -hmm. what will happen tomorrow? That is the most curious question in business environment. Okay. So when we find that, you know, future, that is a data science. So, okay. build, you know, uh, higher advanced than data analyst. So, data analyst is kind of a postmodern. Exactly. <laughs> Whereas exactly. data scientist is like kind of predictive. Like. Uh, predictive, what will happen. Okay. You are astrologist, yes. they are yes. postmodern. Yes, a horoscope astrologist. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Got it. Okay. So, uh, in GUI, uh, I mean, why did you pick any thoughts? Why did you pick GUI or like uh, how it went on? Yes, you know, uh, see, uh, I have, uh, I always fascinate about uh, the IAT and technology. Not? Okay. So, I found that GUI is associated with IAT Madras mm -hmm. as well as part of the IAT Madras. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, you have some standard. Okay, uh, even though I did not get something from IAM that was whole covered with IAT Madras and the GUI. So, Yes, I'm wondering. So when you say some standard, like, uh, can you tell more about the mentors? Uh, probably that's that's what you're meaning. Uh, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. So who yes. are the mentors? Whom you uh, who comes to your right? Right. You know, here in IIT, uh, you know, here GUI, they gave what uh, exactly just right for as a data science. This is not a two X, this is not a two less. They gave what exactly, especially uh, Kausik, the one of the mentor was, you know, his six, seven class was a really transition for us. Okay. That that seven, seven weeks, something like, you know, 14 classes, like 28 hours, like, you know, two months of uh, duration uh, gave me a, a real transition. Uh, he gave all math mathematical concept very nicely mm. and coding concept very nicely and integrated both mathematics and code and statistics and all it was um, excellent cool. yeah. so uh, so is, is the, the, uh, does his uh, knowledge helped you anything in cracking your interview or exactly something? exactly my my point is you know very precise mm. uh, you know he he scored and his calculation on uh, every machine learning part mathematical calculation it was really helped me um, I want to confess something when when I did uh, I am uh -huh. uh, they thought everything in in our programming the most of the part was uh, not covered mm -hmm. when they enter into this you know all interview after completing uh, i am uh, i did not uh, know the question itself uh, okay the question was a surprise for me <laughs> after after taking a class from gubi at least i know some some questions but i don't know the answer okay. so after that i went back and you know i worked on the questions i cracked it uh, absolutely you guys nailed the uh, when it has come to the interview yeah okay so uh, you were saying like you went and worked something right typically how many hours you work uh, in a day for uh, grooming yourself for interviews or right you know uh, before that i i feel i have to work eight hours Hours, nine hours and uh, and uh, I, I leave it for uh, two to three weeks nothing more. but after that I learned that consistency is very important mm -hmm. every day I used to sit one and a half hour to two hours consistently for six months okay. that is very important I have to significantly spend some time on concept and then code so okay. without knowing the concept directly getting the code it will not make a complete sense so I I, I have to go through the concept first then, then I have to go for code okay. 
So you have yeah. moved from a pinch hitter to a Rahul Dravid. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> okay, the consistency matters. Yeah. So when you say consistency, can you quantify some, uh, for example, how many hours you put in, like, uh, or wh- how, uh, what are the mechanisms, for example, do you take notes or do something to uh, make that time meaningful? Yes, you know, uh, if you see that, you know, uh, you guys, like, uh, five months you have taken for us, yeah. four to five months, a lot of classes. Uh, out of that, uh, every every video has some some very important concept. Mm. So obviously, I will talk, mm. uh, take a uh, notes. I will mention the time on right side of the book, like oh, you, know, okay. you know, one hour twenty fifth minute and all. I will mention oh. so that I will go and refer and back. That's oh, a one okay. concept. Okay. So taking the notes is very important. Very very important. I do that. Yeah. Okay. So, taking the notes in sense, you take digitally or you take in... Paper? No, I will take in pen and paper. I, okay. uh, you know, 50% digital, 50% oh. still I use my model. You know, I, I used to go with notes. I have a lot of notes. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so how many uh, interviews uh, it took to crack your thing? How many offers? Okay. Uh, after completing IAM, I took like, you know, eight and nine interviews. I, I really dejected. Uh, okay. Dejected and uh, dejected because many things they did not cover. Uh. When the one interview, they asked about one hot encoding. That uh. was very surprised for me. What uh. is one hot encoding? They never <laughs> taught me. After taking, uh, um, you know, classes with Guri, like like eighth interview, uh, I cracked in Tech Mahindra. That was very nice. But, but you know, first of four or five interview, I was not very serious about because mm. I was curious curious to get exposed to all interview questions okay. getting you know getting nerves on my on my end i was um, you know uh, reduce my panic level ah. these are all things i i trained with for uh, first of all interviews <laughs> okay. all small companies then, so how about yeah. the projects like uh, what are the projects you preferred uh, for yeah, i i worked on four five projects uh, okay. one is from gubi that ah. is uh, you know chennai uh, house prediction okay. that okay. was uh, end to end i have taken you know okay. they helped me the mentor was helping me on mm. the on the concept and all uh, apart from that from from Kaggle, you know, the yeah. machine hack, these two things are very important. I take two, two projects, totally I completed five projects end to end. So uh, that was the one thing uh, I, I did. Yeah. So did the projects help you in the interview or like the, what actually helped you in the interview? See, see, when it is come to the project, then, then it will tell you the business aspect. Mm. What is business? And what is uh, Python? what is concept you know machine learning right all the minutes so project is uh, you know give you a better view of of the data science okay so here if you if you you may learn like what is linear regression Mm. linear regression is a technical word of supervised when it is come to the business we need to predict the stock price Ah. okay predict the you know uh, salary of the employee Mm. so this has to be integrated okay okay got it so you will be now able to predict your learning path yes. via your time spent. Yes, yes, exactly. So <laughs> okay, yeah. got it. So uh, uh, can you tell like, uh, so would you recommend uh, Gubi to others as well? Yeah, so far so I recommended eight people and okay. then I have made them to join also. <laughs> so definitely I recommend because that's a, it's a, a good thing to have as a data scientist because my my journey started like 2017. You okay. know, I took two to three years to land correct person like 2020 I landed here mm. so but uh, so instead of that you know they have to directly land here they have to reduce two to three years I wasted almost two to three years now so, okay yeah yes uh, can you walk through any one of the interview like uh, which you cracked it so that that will be useful for the people who yes uh, generally you know uh, when it is come to interview you have to prepare your project uh, in front of the system okay keep your project Okay. Uh, mostly they are having a teams only teams uh, call zoom only okay uh, keep your system over ready you have you just open two to three projects okay okay keep keep learn all the project very sincerely mm. okay do uh, from the morning and you, know, you have to work on all the project when the interview comes up you try to show your project to them okay. walk through the one of the project uh, if they did not allow, no problem, you have to answer the questions. Okay. If you get a chance, definitely mostly they will say yes so only for in that. In your case, they allowed it? Or? They allowed it. Okay. They allowed it. I opened my, my project. I walked through everything. So all my questions are from my project. So okay. I could be able to take the control. Okay. This project was very neatly uh, described, you know, explained in the GUBI. Okay, so uh, you moved from data analyst to data scientist, right? So why did you uh, choose the path? Is there any logic or what is the reason for moving from here? Okay, the data analyst, you know, the people enforce you to do that. Okay. You know, I have to do the same report. 
monthly weekly quarterly okay. halfly i have to do the same report for 2 uh-huh. to 3 years uh-huh. then you cannot call yourself experienced uh, okay. correct repeating the j- same job and you know, routine uh, so at, at the same time the data scientist paying a lot mm-hmm. okay i i almost covered 80 percentage of the job in data analyst remaining okay. only 20 percent okay. that is all supervised and unsupervised uh-huh. so why should i you know uh, i have to transfer data analyst uh, sorry from data scientist uh, you know data analyst to data scientist so i'll get a more salary number one very i'll get fair. a comfortable that is <laughs> most important yeah, right? you know you know 100% hike is very easy it is okay. absolutely possible okay and you know by you know um, uh, i got lot of interviews also like you okay. know 10 15 20 interviews in data scientist very easy there's a opportunity is there yeah okay uh, did guvi help you in any mock interviews or uh, how uh, before interview prep like uh, did we help you for anything yes uh, you know uh, 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 they gave a one exam mm. like you know 40 50 questions like one okay. hour exam so okay. we should crack that okay uh, that's a bit you know difficult part only okay. we have to study and crack you know okay. uh, 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 again we don't have any network also here uh-huh. so we have to study our own we mm. have to crack that one part and mock interview is uh, significantly very important it will give you the exposure what kind of questions they will ask mm. so that was uh, fantastic with whom you had the mock uh, i had a mock with uh, kausik okay and one more person was there i was okay, I I two people two mock there later you are from a biotech background right where you didn't have any coding background at all how it was hindering you or is it hard to learn code uh, and get into the data science role uh, before that i had a own perception the coding is 100% of ah. the data science but actually that is not a true okay coding is only a 25% you can have okay out of that there is a pareto ratio 80 is to 20% right okay, okay? Ah. the 20 percentage of the code will help you to get 80 percentage of your project done Ah. so only minimal code required okay even if you know the concept if you know how to cut copy paste mm. you can survey with it some extent but but coding is not a so a show stopper for me it was very easy work for me perfect yeah. okay thank you i think i got all the info okay thank, thank you, you thank, thank you, you.